Hello everyone, I'm Levi. Welcome to our lesson 10, extensive challenge one. Jemima has an identical square cards. She has fewer than 200 altogether. She tried to arrange them in rows of four, but had one left over. She tried rows of five and then rows of six, but each time she had one card left. Finally, she discovered that she could arrange them to form one large solid square. How many cards were on each side of the square? First of all, a total number of cards must be a square number because she can arrange them in a one large solid square. And then we know that if she arranged them in rows four, five, or six, she always has one card left over. Which means if we set the total number of cards as our x, then if we x minus one must be multiples of four, five and six. Therefore, let's see all the multiples of four, five, and six that is less than 200. So first of all, let's find the LCM of four, five, and six. And that is just gonna be 60. And so all the multiples of four, five, and six is gonna be so multiple of four, five, six, it's gonna be 60, 120, 180. These are all multiples of 60. And these are less than 200. Now, if our number is x minus one, it's multiples of four, five, and six. Then our number of x, our x, it's just it's gonna be 61 or 121 or 181. And we see that only 121 is a square number. And this is 11 squared. So therefore, the total number of identical square cards she has is 121. And the side of the square is just 11. 